Good morning everyone and welcome back to learning guitar and other adventures with Grandpa Allen. We're out here today in a little pond, a uh, pretty nice sized pond here in Highland Village, Texas. Uh, and I'm just down here to catch a few uh, bluegill uh, to use for catfish bait. Now I'll, use, I'll keep some of them alive and some of them as uh, cut bait. And I've just made my first cast there. We're just using uh, Canadian uh, night crawlers. And we'll see what happens here. I'm pretty familiar with the pond. So if they don't bite right away, I'm just gonna move it in a little bit, pause, and wait a few more seconds and see what happens. And I might have to adjust my depth. And it is pretty quiet this morning. Let's see what happens right there. There, there we go, I got him. That's a nice size uh, bluegill right there. And we'll go ahead and put him in the uh, bucket. I should have brought my bucket a little bit closer, but let me walk back over there and get it. I'm just using a bait pail uh, today because I don't plan to catch uh, a whole lot of them. Didn't need to bring my bucket. I'll put the oxygen on it later. But let's go ahead and catch a few more. Let me refit uh, my bait on there. And as you can see, I'm not using very much worm. I'm just using a pinch of a worm. And I'm putting it on so it'll have to hit that, uh, that tip of that hook. Let's try a different location, see if there's any bigger ones out here. I hope you can see that. And we're not getting any action, so let me go ahead and uh, reel it in here. A little bit, right about there. There we go. Something's... I'm going to move it away from him. Got something touching it. There we go. Got him. Another little gilly. Oh, let me go ahead and get him off the hook. Oh, you're giving me the what for? I don't know whether you can see that bobber out there or not, but something's hitting it. Got him. Little, little dinker. Little old dinker. But that's a good size one, so I think I'll put him at the live tank there at the house. I think I'm going to adjust my bobber. I'm going to bring it up. Oh, about eight inches or so. Maybe they're not quite as deep today. 
you just got to play around until you find them. Once you find them, uh, it's just it's just back to back. You catch you plenty of bait here in just uh, you know just about 45 minutes to an hour. Let's see what's right there. Well, I might have made a wrong call there. Now, there's a much bigger pond right over there. Uh, I don't know whether you can see it, but you can see the freeway over there. There's a much bigger pond, and I'll fish that from time to time. Uh, the biggest catfish I've seen come out of there was a little over 60 pounds. Uh, some Spanish guy caught it, and, uh, well, it was quite a treat watching him fight that thing for about uh, 20 minutes or so in his kayak. When he realized how big it was, he had to get his kayak to shore, get out and get on uh, the bank and really, uh, you know, finish reeling it in and, and landing it. His buddy was filming and his buddy was standing there laughing the whole time. It didn't, didn't help him much. Let me move that in a little bit closer. See what we got here. There we go. There we go. Oh, pulled it right out of his mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's getting a little ang over anxious. But he didn't get it. I'll put it back on there. I, I might have tangled it up with that. Uh, yeah, I sure did. That throw there or, or yank. I'll probably go ahead and cut one up and uh, go on out here and, and throw for uh, catfish while I'm here. Whoa, something hit it, but didn't. There, there we go. He's a good one. He's a fighter. Hey, he's a dinker. down just a little bit. I don't know how far that was, four or five inches, I guess. Let's cast it back out there and see what we got. Right about there ought to do it. Hear those planes flying over overhead? They're heading into uh, the DFW airport. It's about 20 minutes away. Nothing. I see something going for it. I got him. This one here I'm going to use for catfish bait today. So I'll go ahead and take care of him. Get him off the hook there. one tackle box with me. I don't like carrying a lot of stuff with me.
Yeah, that'll do it. Boom was already ready to pop out of there for me. Go ahead and rig him up right through that nostril. up my drag a little bit. And I'm going to try to get it out as close to the water fountain as possible as far as the distance. Yeah, that's a good plot, spot for it take out some of that slack now I'll put it behind my bungee cord there are some decent sized catfish in here that will surely pull your uh, hole over this railing believe it or not I know some of you believe it because you're catfisher people There we go, I'm all set up there. Bobber's nice and below that. Now I'll just glance at it occasionally and see if that bobber goes up and we'll see if we catch anything. Let's get back. Hello everybody, I'm back again with that song that I promised you, a nice, real simple song here to learn. Uh, now what I've done with this song is broken it down into its simplest form and turned it into a campfire version and not the way uh, Jim Croce did it on the album in any stretch of anyone's imagination. Uh, this is just trying to break it down and get you a simple way of playing the song so you can have fun with it, uh, you know, when you're doing out there camping and doing your sing-alongs and stuff. So please, no comments in the in, in, in the places there down below that say, Grandpa Allen, you got that all wrong. I already know it's not the right way to play it. It's the way I'm going to play it. It's the way I'm going to show it for a campfire version, don't you see? Now remember, you can't never go back to where you ain't never been. So I'm fixing to take you somewhere. Holy mac. Let's go. So here's that song. And by the way, I hope you like the fishing trip. I'm going to be doing a lot more of those adventures on the outside. i got to get out of this house. I mean, the house is a nice house I got here. and uh, But you, uh, man's not meant to stay indoors 24-7. So I'm going to start getting out more and more and doing some boating and doing some river uh, uh, fishing and just getting out in and around Texas and venturing up to Oklahoma and Arkansas. I'm actually looking at uh, purchasing a, uh, a small motor home, a small one, real small one. You know, the bigger they are, the more I've got to clean up. Uh, so a small one or a small uh, travel trailer to pull behind me. And used, of course. I, I don't need anything brand new. Uh, just as long as it's in good shape and everything's working. Because I, I, I don't, I don't want to work on anything. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you did. And uh, as always, man, just, just like the old man stuff. Hit that bell or do whatever they, whatever, whatever everyone says tells you to do on their channels. Uh, we're going to be using a G. We're going to be using a, a B minor. We're going to throw in a C. Let's grab us a D. I do believe we're going to grab us an E minor here as well. Yeah, that's right, we are. And if, yeah, and we're also going to do something like this. We're going to do a, well, the only time we go to this uh, E minor is going to be in the in the chorus section. And so, but before we get to it, we're going to be on a D, or excuse me, a G, and we're going to do a walk down. So, okay, like that. Something like that, anyway. 
You'll see it here in a minute. Let's go ahead and cover the verse. Let's cover the verse first so you can see what I'm doing and where the chord changes are as they relate to the uh, 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 lyrics. Uh, again, this is a Jim Croce song. I'll have to say I love you in a song broken down to its simplest version. So do that twice as your intro, okay? Come in there doing that twice before you enter into the lyrics. And the strumming pattern I'm using is just a... So a down, down, up, up, down, up. And in some of those ups, develop your own strumming style. Listen to the song, listen to the song, listen to the song. Uh, come up with the tempo of the song. And then make it your own. Now, sometimes I do it like that, where I'm just using these two fingers. And you could use a pick if you wanted to, and sometimes I'm just using both of them pinched together like that. Just Okay? So, I'm scratching the palm of my hand right now. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. You know, something like that, or we could do some Galveston, 
but all of them will be broke down into their simplest form so you can just play them and have fun. Now, the next adventure is going to be outdoors somewhere. So anyway, thank you for tuning in, and I mean that sincerely from the bottom of my heart. This is Grandpa Allen wishing you all the best in the world, and just remember one thing. Well, two things. You can't never go back to where you ain't never been. And treat each other with dignity and respect in the way you'd like to be treated. Hey, peace. Old man out.